big buffs and nerfs in gaming, something that either causes a lot of excitement in you or dread depending on what the changes are. While gaming developers are notorious for making large sweeping changes in gaming, in no other genre does that seem to be more prevalent than the MMORPG genre. Big sweeping changes aren't fundamentally bad. Maybe your game is an alpha or beta, or maybe your game is releasing a big expansion where you want to shake things up, and that is totally fine. But where big sweeping balance changes and overhauls become a problem is when they're done extremely frequently. And in today's video, I'm going to explain why that's the case and why this is a problem and why I wish to see developers make more frequent smaller changes, especially in MMOs. But if you guys do watch this and like the video, please feel free to leave a like on it and comment down below what you guys think about developers making massive changes to your favorite games, especially in the MMO genre. If you guys do want to see more MMO and gaming discussions like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all the videos that I post. Now, before I get into my explanation on why big buffs and nerfs in gaming are bad, I just want to reiterate that this isn't an issue if they're done infrequently. A game like WoW comes to mind, where they do big shakeups to a class before an expansion and then fine tune it over the course of said expansion. Now, I'm not saying the actual changes that Blizzard makes for the game are necessarily good. However, the methodology or theory behind the way in which they make said changes are good. Big initial change, followed by medium sized adjustments during an expansion's alpha or beta, followed by smaller tunes over the course of an expansion. Could said smaller changes be done more frequently and weaker classes be helped a bit more? Absolutely, but this video isn't necessarily about covering one game specific balancing, but instead the macro thinking behind this balancing. On the flip side, you have a game like The Elder Scrolls Online, who every three months makes massive changes to their core systems. Many players of that game report that they feel like they're constantly, you know, on unstable footing with the game and its combat or experiencing change whiplash due to the way that ZeniMax Online Studios balances their games so drastically every three months. To showcase why these frequent balance issues are a problem, I'm going to explain it using some math, but I'm going to try to simplify it as much as I can to put it in layman's terms. For those of you who aren't engineers like me, it's going to be based off of the concepts of proportional integral derivative control, which I personally feel is an extremely applicable model to a situation like this. We need to look at a video game like a big system, with all of the different parts of it and its combat having influence over the others. A game's desired point of homeostasis, or set point, is to be balanced, where a game's classes are all viable. Of course, we all know for gaming that's pretty much not possible at all, but that's obviously the goal. Looking at this very basic PID graph, which is short for that proportional integral derivative control that I mentioned earlier, PID for short, we are going to look at that dotted line as our set point of balance. The X axis is time and the Y axis here is going to be the balance axis. The further our line is above or below the dotted line, the further we are away from our state of homeostasis or balance. As you can see by an ideal PID graph, you start with a big input to your system. This is maybe your, maybe your game's alpha or beta test, or a big expansion or patch that's shaking up the game. Typically, the mark of balance is missed pretty far on the initial input of changes to your game. So after that, you want to make a medium sized change to try to bring things back in line. And then as you can see, over time, you do want the changes to get smaller and smaller to try to get closer to that point of balance as much as possible. Now, the problem with making constant big changes into your game is that it puts your system, or this case in your game, in a state called hunting. So what is hunting? In gaming terms, by making constant aggressive balance changes, you cause your game's balance to constantly oscillate back and forth, trying in vain to get to this point of balance, but ultimately passing it every single time, looking much more like a sign graph, making it nearly impossible to reach that goal of balance in your game. Now, even though the math 
supports the position of more frequent smaller changes over time, you will still have people who like to defend the ideology of constant big change, saying things like, if you don't like it, maybe the game isn't for you, or maybe the genre isn't for you. Yes, games are going to change, developers are going to want to shake things up, sure, try new ideas, try to keep things fresh, or try to find that next thing that's going to keep its player base hooked or bring in new players. But if a game does choose to do these things, they should be infrequent so that the company can actually iterate on their ideas. Again, making smaller changes over time to those big ideas to bring them towards a healthy state. Constantly making these giant sweeping changes will just cause your player base to feel fatigue to your system, or in this case, your game, being unsteady and in a constant state of hunting for homeostasis. Gatekeeping a community using poor design decisions as your shield is a very odd position to take in my opinion because the math proves that it's an ineffective way to design your game. But guys, I just wanted to make this little quick short video about my thoughts about big buffs and nerfs in gaming. It's something we see a lot in MMOs and especially the ones that I play. This does seem to be a constant trend. So it's something I just kind of wanted to discuss and why I feel that the goal should be to make smaller, more frequent changes instead of these constant big swings in your game. But that is going to wrap up my thoughts. What do you guys think about balancing changes for your games? Do you agree with my position or do you disagree? Let me know down in that comment section below again if you guys did enjoy the discussion i'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video as well as subscribing and hitting the bell if you want to keep up with more discussion videos like this i appreciate y'all stopping by today thank you very much as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next video